gentlemen, ladies, all of the above, none of the above, welcome back to the shop. We take a brief respite from burgling Kevin McAllister's back door. It's never too early for a Macaulay Culkin joke <laughs> to bring you two practical solutions. A treat, especial, uh, two birds stoned with one bush, a double ender, you might call it, a technical solution to the comorbidity problem of Boogeyman 19, being when you don your chin guard talisman to protect against said vapors, occasionally you might pitfall into a deepest, darkest pit on account of blindness, of condensation on your safety maglarsis. The second treat, especial, being we have been commissioned by uh, some visual autists to help them learn electricity. In my own professoriate, we don't stand on semantics. That'd be assault. Allow me to demonstrate for you the issue. For clarity. Nah. <coughs> you see, kids, air is a fluid, a gas, and it tends to take the path of least resistance. If the path of least resistance is not through the filter media, it's around that misshapen proboscis of yours. Goes straight up, your maglarsis fogs you up, can't see fuck all. As a long-suffering misanthrope, a rancher, I can tell you with the utmost assurance, 67 head of the finest laying hens has taught me the most profitable type of small-scale ranching is, of course, all hat and no steers, but also chickens are disgusting. They eat with their peckers. Much like humans, they can get uppity. And when they get uppity, blinders work a treat. I ain't saying, I'm just saying. We've identified the problem, fogged up safety maglarsis. We are going to solve that the simplest way we know how with a simple electrical circuit. We're gonna use a battery and we're gonna use a resistor. The resistor comes in the form of nichrome wire available from the usual scumbags, very fine, angel-haired, one might say, and the battery in its current embodiment as a work of art. This will not hurt you. It is at 18 volts, will supply oodles and oodles of amps, but will not hurt you. The angry-up pixies in yonder wall receptacle at 120 volts will before we build too much time building her, we're going to do a mock-up. We got the Fister Price digital multimeter. Expensive, but sure is cheap. We are gonna put it in the ohm scale. Ohms measures resistance in DC circuits. Nichrome wire strung out, but five inches. Nine inches for you ladies in the crowd. The bird himself, I have very little pedagogical training, mind. The bird himself, whose very name is a dick joke. Snake Spear, Snake Smear, has taught me that there is no finer way to elucidate novel concepts than dick jokes. I bet you your grade 10 English teacher never taught you that. This is painful, much like dick jokes. Let me get set up. <laughs> Five inches of nichrome wire, seven, ohm, eight ohms of resistance. 10 inches of nichrome wire, doubled the distance, doubled the resistance. Now we got the 18 volts from the batteria. Turn this little guy on. Showing zero. Do a little adjustamente. 18 volts. So if this is 18 ohms and that's 18 volts, we should have one amp of current. This one amp of current through this angel hair pasta ought to hot up fair quick. And we might not be on. There was no voltage drop there. Let's just see what this does. Hmm. Maybe this. When in doubt, shake it out. Something wrong. Das ist wirklich nicht. It never works the first time you do it. If it worked the first time you do it, it's because 
you've already done it. Now, electronic old troubleshooting 101, it's always 95% of the time it's connections, either high resistance in the connection itself or plain old not there. So first thing to do beyond the reboot is the old Fonzarelli. And what that does, it just knocks things into place. You ever wonder why that works? It's because it fixes that loose connection very temporarily. However, that didn't fix it. What we can do is measure the resistance in these. Well, these are store-bought, cheap-like Borsch, and much like store-bought Borsch, no fucking good at all. So we're going to check these to make sure they have continuity. Continuity simply means that the conductor is intact. You can check continuity with bulbs, any kind of electronical component. Easy check is to see if there is an actual path for the pixies to dance on. In the case of the red wire, there is. Ditto with the black wire, showing one there, and the continuity buzzer is gone. Ergo, the problem lies within. Easiest thing first, look for shit stains. I don't see any shit stains, no blown up capacitors, no blown up components, however, uh-huh, a clue. If you'd focus, you fuck, you notice she split right from pie hole to taint. That is the IC what controls the output. And it clearly let out the magic smoke without, well, super magic smoke, because we don't see the shit stain, but it's cracked right half in two. Our apparatus gone tits up, done ch 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 their last unfortunately the statute of limitations is up on the warranty and they got purchased out there now the sham ziax company of <laughs> uh the thing's cursed it or i could get it out the thing is the batteria is very likely still in a little green around it goes but i do some of my best work hunged over we're going to admit the safety Coffee first, profit second, safety third. Yeah, yeah. In any electrical circuit, circuit meaning circle, the pixies got to dance around the fire ring. They can't just go in a single wire. They got to have return and go paths. So we have the circuit here. There's three interdependent variables, voltage, 18 volts from there, amperage, and resistance. You change one of those things and all three change. So in this case, we got 18 volts. We hopefully have 18 ohms right around there. And we should have one amp going through the wire. Yeah, yeah, corn tact. It might spark is all. It won't hurt me, but sparks are scary. Okay, there we go. And... <sighs> it works! It's working! We're a couple sips of beer in. Clear as a whistle. The astute amongst us will note it's probably not that great to have hot wires near your eyes on the inside. So we are going to iterate. The beautiful thing about the human mind is you put these on and those little heat wires disappear because your mind gets rid of extraneous info it doesn't want or need. If you've played hockey with a, a mask on or football with a mask on, you know that those lines disappear when you're in the heat of the action. Listen, I'll prove it to you. Hello? Huh? If I'm not mistaken, the Jeffrey Dahmers have proper glass lenses. Why the Jeffrey Dahmer? Well, style, first off. And second, they have built-in theft deterrent and that they're dorky as frick. We got these fancy ones, what are poly polycarbonate. And the... Nichrome wire is on the outside only. Twisted up on the outside only. I'm going to uh, give you a taste of work right here at home. <sighs> the acrid breath of management <sighs> down your collar. 
key yarn tack. Oh, and that is working a treat. Got a little hot and pulled away. So this is where the resistance comes in handy. We've got too many amps going through that wire, which is causing too much heat, too much current, too much heat. So we have to increase the resistance, one of the three factors. We've got to increase the resistance. How do we increase the resistance? We lengthen the wire. Huh? Huh? Yet again, kids, never listen to what anybody tells you. That eight-year doctorate in perineal proprioception come in mighty handy and oh so punny. What is that, 50 ohms? 48? Overload. 48 it is. So 18 divided by 48 gives us the amperage, which is two point, no, that's way too high. Ah, <laughs> eh, algebra, it's tough. It's tough out here in the world. Eh, excuse me while I kiss this guy. 18 divided by 48 is a third, 0.3 with a six. That's as far as I wanna go with that. So that will take no time at all. Oh, oh, it works. I bet you now that the wires are hotted up. Oh. <sighs> yeah, it doesn't, it doesn't even fog up. Now the really easy part is making this small enough to go somewhere on here, as well as making it not look like a janky seventh grade Science project that you wear on your face. Good enough for Casey Nice. When we're solving a problem, we always want to do the simplest thing first. What's the biggest problem on the table? The battery, size of the battery. So we're going to shrinkify the battery first. Makes sense. In order to shrinkify it, we got to reduce the voltage. Now, all three components are interdependent. Voltage, which is how stoked the pixies are to go through the wire. Are they super stoked or are they kind of met? Amperage, which is dependent on the resistance of the wire. This real thin little wire, the pixie's got to be super stoked to get through them. This is the stand-in, by the way, for the resistor in here. This is a resistor. So we're going to shrinkify the battery, bring it down to 9 volts, which happens to be a very ubiquitous and easily sourced battery. Also, it's Lego. You can stick it together and you get more voltage. Now, because we go half the voltage, the current is going to half, which means this goes from 0.36 amps to half of that. What we can do though, is consider this resistor, one long resistor, we're gonna cut it in half. We're gonna cut it in half in the middle, that gives us 24 and 24, and then we're going to parallel them. That is, we're gonna put in positive pixies on this end and the uh, outlet will be this end. Now, because that's 24 and 24 in parallel, that's actually 12 ohms. So nine volts, 12 ohms, that gives us 0.66 amps with a smaller battery. The way we did that is by changing one of the variables, which is how much resistance this is. A little fashion forward for the likes of us, but you put that on uh, any emaciated waif under the age of consent from here to Milan, and boy howdy, with that eerily symmetrical face, you got yourself a uncanny valley. Contact. Engage, slow, pen, zoom. It works. It's working. The year is 2021. Can we not admit, fellow nerds, 
that we have failed the gospel according to Marty McFly. We cannot walk into a local dépanneur and get glasses, safety or otherwise, but don't fog up. It's 2021. Clearly not that technically challenging. Thanks for watching. Keep your dick in a vice.